So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third Vue.js tutorial in which we're going to take a look at some new properties in Vue object. One of them which is interesting is called methods. So let's just take it real slow. What we have done so far is just install Vue and basically look at how we can pass data from JavaScript to your actual HTML stuff, right? just like we do with React and any of the template binding library if you have ever used. So what we are doing here is now creating a methods field which would contain all of our methods of data extraction and all that stuff. So let's just say if you're creating an application which involves you know, logging a user in. So what you want to do is create a method of login inside this methods field and you want to check if that user actually exists or not by a server call or something like that and then you are going to assign that particular data into this data field so that you can access it in the view. Now, let's just create a method called hello world and turn hello from there. So I'm just going to say here hello world here instead of that message and notice the parenthesis. Let's reload this. You can see that we get hello here instead of hello world now. All right. So what's happening here is that we are placing this method inside the methods object, but what if I place this method inside the data object? What do you think would happen? Well, sure, it would work just like we would expect. You see that we get hello, but it's just a practice you recommends to separate your data from the data, actual data which you're using on the template from your logic right so you have to separate your data from the logic so that when you scale up your application or when your application grows you don't get crazy separating that stuff later on so always make a habit that you never put your methods inside data because there's a separate field of um, data extraction and basically data handling your data field should not actually know how it got its data Right, so that is basically it, and uh, the return value would be handled by view nicely. So, for example, if you return an array from this, you would see that view handles it nicely. And again, view is just not calling two string on this method, right? Because two string on array does not include parentheses, and obviously, you can return nothing from here, and it will still work, but blank this time, right? So you can do stuff here and anything you like basically so that is it i guess for the methods pretty simple to understand and easy to get started with i hope you're ready for some more interesting stuff in view so that's all for this video and i'll see you then in the next one wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers this video will end in one second good luck